Hey guys, this is Ricardo back again on the Watch With Us channel with a new watch in for review. Today we have the Rado Captain Cook 37mm Automatic. Now, this was released in 2019. A model number for those interested is R3250013. Now, this watch on Rado's website is marketed as a ladies watch. However, its size at 37 millimeters can work for a lot of individuals, especially when you take into account that Rado also sells the Golden Horse, which is sized at 37 millimeters, but just doesn't have a diver bezel. Now, the Captain Cook line in general was a huge line for Rado recently. Um, it's been the source of a lot of success for the brand as they've kind of reinvented themselves in the past few years. So with that being said, let's take a closer look at this model and let's break down some of these specs. Now for the specs, guys. The watch comes in at 37 millimeters, measured from 45 to 15. You get a 43 millimeter lug to lug, measured from here to there. A case thickness of 11.1 millimeters. The watch comes on this beads of rice bracelet which measures 19 millimeters at the lugs. I know, not a standard size. However, I know a lot of people will be happy that it tapers down to 16 millimeters at the clasp, which is signed Rado and has that anchor logo. Opening up the clasp, we then get the case back, which features the three seahorses that we saw in the previous review of the Captain Cook bronze. And around that case back, you also see some identifying information, stainless steel, model number, as well as the rotor resistance, which comes in at 100 meters. I know that's on the low end for a diver for many individuals, and I know as well that some people won't be happy that this watch actually does not have a screw down crown. However, there are many of us who do feel 100 meters of water resistance is more than enough for any type of water activities. Going back to the front, we see, of course, the ceramic diver bezel, which has the silver numerals as well as the indices around it, which you could see as I play in the light. On the bezel, we get 120 clicks. Nice ratcheting sound. We have the date at three o'clock. And of course we have that Rado moving logo at 12. Now the dial, it, it's kind of hard to describe. It is silver at some times, white at some times, and cream at some times. Um, I think it's all dependent on what light is hitting it, but it does have a beautiful effect as you're wearing the watch. As for the case, we get the polish center beads of rice linked, which then give a give way to a brushed side link and then back to a polish here on the case. Which for the most part is polished. One of the few brushed pieces is actually just there at the lux. As for the bracelet, to size it, they actually come with a pin and collar 
setup so no screws here. And that covers you for your specs. Now let's jump into pricing and my personal thoughts on this watch. Now, I've had the watch for 10 days, and as soon as I knew Rado was going to get it out to me, I made sure to designate some time for a close family member of mine to get some wrist time with the watch. Uh, that family member is heavily health and fitness oriented, and I kind of wanted her to take the watch through its paces and kind of get some feedback from her and some of her personal thoughts on the watch. Now she had the watch for about two to three days and I knew her thoughts would be positive because when it came time for me to pick up the watch from her, she didn't want to let it go. Immediately she raved about the dial and just how it would play with the light and how there'd be moments where it would have this cream look and moments where it would have this silver look. She loved the timing bezel, which she used for an array of things from parking meters to timing her meal um, and also kind of tra keeping track of her runs and just how long she was taking to complete her four or six mile runs. And it's a nice feature. Uh, she would usually use a digital watch for that but she just liked the ease um, of use of just using the time timing bezel it was just a nice set it and forget it um, she didn't have to press a whole bunch of bu buttons just to time herself she just rotated the bezel but i'd have to say the biggest takeaway her biggest takeaway from the watch had to be the size She's used to dealing with 28, 29, 30 millimeter watches. And this was the first time she delved into a watch that came in at 37 millimeters. And she initially thought it would look too big on her slender wrist, but she realized quite quickly that 37 millimeters was kind of her sweet spot. And I think we've kind of converted her to the point where She's going to be looking at 37 millimeter watches moving forward and it's going to be stepping away from those smaller sized watches, um, which she now kind of considers to be a little too dainty. Now, as for my personal opinions on the watch, uh, I'd have to say I, I love the overall appearance of the watch. Um, I do feel that the size is a bit small for my seven and a half inch wrist. Speaking of, let me just toss this on my wrist so you guys kind of see what I'm talking about. There you go. Though it does have a nice 43 millimeter lug to lug, it, it does look a bit small on my wrist. Now, I say that not to to have other individuals kind of shy away from potentially wearing this watch um, though it's labeled as a ladies watch on rado's website i know a ton of gentlemen with smaller wrists that this 37 millimeter size would work perfectly for going to a few other things on the watch away from its size um, one thing that i didn't like was the lack of micro adjustments on the clasp. You basically just have that one pin. But there is a strong caveat to that in the fact that this has to be the easiest bracelet I've ever sized in my life. It's the first time where the only thing I needed to size the bracelet was literally just a spring bar tool and a set of pliers. They found a way to set up this pin and collar system where it's tight enough where the pins don't stick out, but it's loose enough to where just a simple push in with the spring bar tool allows you to size this easily. 
I mean, when I got the watch back from that family member, it took me no more than two minutes to size it back up to seven and a half inches. Now, going back to the overall opinion on this watch, um, I think it, it fills in a nice hole in the Captain Cook family. Um, it, 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 it's a nice colorway to have. We have the bronze, we have those green watches, the blues, and this white is just, is, it's really nice and it fills a nice hole in that family of watches. However, it brings to light something that I wish Rado would do, and that's fill in that hole between 42 millimeters and 37 millimeters when it comes to the Captain Cook family. I think they should release something along the sizes of 39, 40 millimeters. I know a ton of people who would wear that watch and are just waiting on the sidelines, waiting for that 39, 40 millimeter Captain Cook diver. But overall, I have to say, this is a nice watch. The fit and finishing is nice. You have, as I mentioned earlier, that polished beads of rice, the brushed, and then the polished again. It, it, there's some really nice things on this watch, and it, it, I think it presents a really nice package. Pricing-wise, you're coming in at $2,000 for this example from Rado. Now, that completes my review. If you guys have any comments, um, any suggestions for today's video, please drop them in the comment section and just let us know what are your thoughts on this watch. But with that, I have to say goodbye, guys. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time with the next watch on the channel. Thank you.